sometimes you'll hear people say that you can have a picture of Jesus. It shows his, the reality of his human nature. Uh, and we're not going to worship that, of course, but it's, it's a good thing to have in story Bibles and so forth that it reminds children especially that um, Christ had a real human body. The problem with that, of course, is that, as John Murray so helpfully said, that the, the function of an image is to draw your mind to the object and the subject behind that image. And because of who Christ is, he's the incarnate Son of God, any thoughts that are drawn in his direction by an image of him, by necessity, must be worshipful. And so there's just no way to have an image of Jesus that does not, in some sense, give you an idea of who Christ was. And that's a fairly significant problem. So when Jesus walked about on the earth, when he gathered little children up into his arms and blessed them, when he would look and rebuke the Pharisees, uh, when he would touch the leper and heal him, the angels could look down and say, oh, he's just like his father. There's, there's no unchristlikeness in the father at all. It's just his facial expression, his tone of voice, his body language. It's just a perfect picture of God. As Jesus himself said, he that has seen me has seen the father. And so when you see an actor or a picture of Jesus, could an angel look down and say, he's just like the father? No. By, by definition, no matter how well someone tries to act, they're going to give you a massively reduced, warped, corrupted picture of God, which is the very sum and substance of idolatry.